Hey everyone, today we're going over how to find the area of triangles and parallelograms. Let's go. Let's first start off with how to find the area of a triangle. By the way, when we talk about area, it means how much space is on the inside of the triangle here. For our first step, we can actually use an equation that someone else a long, long time ago figured out for us, where the area of any triangle is one half times base times height. You might also see it written like this with just the letters. For our second step, let's look into what that equation actually means. When we say base, it's the length of this line right here. You can think of the base as the side that the triangle is just sitting on, which in this case is seven centimeters. Now for the height, it's the length of this line right here. You can think of the height as just how tall the triangle is. Just take a look at the point directly above the base and draw a straight line down. And note that the lines for the base and height are always perpendicular to each other, meaning that they are always at a 90 degree angle. From this diagram, we can tell that the height of this triangle is 10 centimeters. For a third and final step, let's solve the equation. We have that the area of the triangle is equal to one half times the base, which is seven centimeters, and the height, which is 10 centimeters, and we'll get 35 centimeters squared for the area of our triangle. And that's it, that's our answer. Let's try the same thing with a different looking triangle. For the first step, we're still using the same equation where the area of the triangle is one half base times height. For the second step, let's figure out what the base and the height are for this specific triangle. The base is this side, the side that the triangle is sitting on, which is eight feet. And our height, which is how tall the triangle is, it's this line perpendicular or 90 degrees to the base, which is seven feet. Even though this line isn't touching the actual base, that's okay, we're just measuring how tall the triangle is. And don't get distracted by all of these other numbers, we only need the base and the height. For our third step, we're solving the equation. We have that the area of the triangle is one half times the base, which is eight feet, times the height, which is seven feet, in solving the equation, we have that the area is 28 feet squared. Let's now talk about parallelograms. We still have the same steps, but a different equation. Again, some person a long, long time ago discovered that the formula for the area of a parallelogram is just base times height. For step two, let's figure out what the values for the base and height are. Similar to a triangle, the base of a parallelogram is the length of the side that it's just sitting on at the bottom here. Based off of this diagram, the base of this parallelogram is five centimeters. And the height, or how tall the parallelogram is, is the length of this line right here that is perpendicular, or in other words, 90 degrees to the base. Don't be fooled, it's not the length of this slanted one, it's this line running straight up and down, and in our case, it's four centimeters. For our last step, let's solve the equation. The area of our parallelogram is the base, which is five centimeters, times the height, which is four centimeters, and we'll get 20 centimeters squared. That's it, that's our answer. Let's do one more parallelogram example. For the first step, we're going to use the same formula where the area of the parallelogram is base times height. Next, let's figure out what the values for the base and the height are. The base is this line here that the parallelogram is sitting on, which is 20 feet. The height of the parallelogram is this line here that is perpendicular, or in other words, 90 degrees to the base which is five feet. 
Finally, let's solve the equation and we'll get that the area of this parallelogram is the base 20 times the height 5, which is 100 feet squared. For our final area problem, let's get into one that's not as straightforward as the ones we've just seen. The shape isn't necessarily just a triangle or just a parallelogram, but if you look closely, it's made out of a parallelogram and a triangle. We can see that this shape is a parallelogram because both sets of lines are parallel to each other. And this shape looks like a triangle, doesn't it? So we can approach the problem in the same way, but we just have to do all of our steps twice because this time we have both a parallelogram and a triangle they're just attached to each other. Let's do the parallelogram first. According to our formula, the area of a parallelogram is base times height. The base of the parallelogram is this line here, but be careful, don't automatically plug in 13 because 13 is the length of this entire line that includes the triangle part. The actual length of the base of just the parallelogram is 11 centimeters. And I got this because it already tells us that this side of the parallelogram is 11 centimeters. And just by the definition of a parallelogram, the lengths of these two sides are equal. So our base is also 11 centimeters. Now the height of our parallelogram is this line that's perpendicular, or in other words, 90 degrees to the base. You'll notice that this line is actually the same as this height we're given here. Since it tells us that this line is also perpendicular to the base and it extends up to the top of the parallelogram. So the height of our parallelogram based off of this diagram is three centimeters. Solving for the equation now, we get that the area of the parallelogram is the base, which is 11 centimeters, times the height, which is 3 centimeters, and we'll get 33 centimeters squared. Don't forget that that was just the area of the parallelogram. We still have to find the area of the triangle. So let's do this again. The area of a triangle, if you remember, can be calculated using 1 half base times height. The base of our triangle is this line here. If the length of the entire line is 13, and we just found that the length of the parallelogram part is 11, that means that the length of the base of this triangle must be 13 minus 11, which is two centimeters. The height is easy enough, they give it to us directly, which is three centimeters. So solving the equation, we'll get that the area of the triangle part is one half times the base, which is two centimeters, times the height, which is three centimeters, and we'll get an area of three centimeters squared. We're not done yet because we just found the areas individually. We now need to add them up to find the area of this entire shape. So 33 plus 3 is 36 centimeters squared. That is our answer. The total area of this random shape is 36 centimeters squared. All right, those were all of the problems that I wanted to go over today. If this video helps you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more math tutorials like this. Leave a comment below if you'd like to see any other topics or just want to chat. I'll see you in the next video.